And welcome to another round of Dead by Daylight. We're playing a killer round. We're playing as the pig. Let's take a quick look at the loadout we're running. We've got nurses calling to help us find survivors who are injured and close to us. Barbecue and chili to help us find survivors that are a distance from us when we hook someone. The scores, which will show us when more than one survivor is working on a gen together and ruin that will hopefully slow the game down a little bit for us. Uh, we've been playing with the shadowed syringe. We're going to switch that to the videotape to decrease our ambush attack charge time and the miss cooldown slightly. Uh, this will also decrease the charging time. Those two will stack a little bit. Nothing tremendous as far as add-ons go. We certainly have better add-ons we can use with the pig, but we're going to run with these. The pig has been somebody that I've played a lot of, and when I first started playing killer rounds, I was playing mostly doctor rounds to start. I did a lot of Michael Myers in the beginning, and I have played other people. I play some Clown now. Uh, I played some Wraith here and there. I enjoy the Trapper, though he can be very frustrating to play depending what type of group you're against and what type of map you're on. So I have kind of branched out a little bit more and have played other other people, Ghostface, I've played a decent bit of. But I found my way to the pig, and I've actually enjoyed playing her a great deal. And she's not considered to be one of the best killers. In fact, most tier lists I've seen put her towards the bottom of the tier list. But I really enjoy her. I enjoy the, the dynamic of using the traps. I enjoy the, the her ambush attack is really nice and very, when, when you hit it, it's very, very satisfying. And when you can use it in a way that puts survivors completely off guard, as we're at Gas Heaven Auto Haven Wreckers for this particular match, and I don't know how I feel about this particular map. Um, well, I do know where I'm going right away, that's for certain. Um, And I didn't hit anybody with that, really? Oh my god, they're all here. There's three people here. Well, that was a whole survivor party right there. Need to get you before you get to that pallet. Well, you didn't go to that pallet. Ah, well, that's... That's just bad on my part. Oh, we got her just before she got to that pallet. Oh, I thought that miss was going to cost us. And my guess is those two people that ran off that generator are back on it again. Well, they're going to be setting you... Oh, come here, Dwight. Shouldn't have taken that swing. That was just a bad swing on my part. Oh. That one I got, though. Come back, Dwight. Let's see what you got. This uh, straight line is not going to work for you, my friend. You know what, you're getting awfully close to my ru ruin totem over there, too. So I don't think we want to pull you over there. I think we want to drag you back. Let's drag you back on this side of the map. Bring you back more to the middle. Keep a little bit better eye on you over here. All right. There you go. There's a problem with that, Cheryl. There's no pallet there, and you're not making that window in time either. All right, basement is not here. Let's get a trap on your head. Come on, there we go. Lots of traps.
Lots of traps. Uh, oh, he, Meg's just ran for a life there. Poor Dwight didn't see that one coming, apparently. <laughs> Sorry, Dwight. <laughs> and we can see somebody. Oh, there he goes, Arena. Let's get that pallet out of here. All right. There's a hook back there. Can I get outside? I cannot. Oops, I may have messed up there. Might have messed up there. I hate when there's no door there. God darn it. <sighs> yep. That was stupid mistake on our part right there. Sometimes there's a back door. Sometimes they're not. That time would be the there's not. <laughs> All right. We're still going to get her over here, but it's a little bit longer than we would have liked. We should have already had her on that hook. See if we can not do that. Oh, okay. Hey, who else is here? Oh, somebody was here. Oh, I saw the aura and I saw the scratch marks. Oh, Daryl, what are you doing here? You need to be working on getting that trap off your head, girl. All right, let's drop you here. Hi, Meg. <laughs> I fancy meeting you here. Uh, this is kind of a corner of a map, Meg. Only if I can continue to potato are you going to be able to get out of here. All right. Hey, you kind of just ran into a corner. That's not really what you wanted to do there. No traps for you. We uh, we ran out of our fancy hats, unfortunately. I can see that person going right to that box. And down you go. Well, Zarina, that is going to be all she wrote for you, I believe. This might be your death hook, unfortunately. Oh, and everybody is over there. Help, Meg. That ambush attack, a little too strong right there. I guess is I don't think that Dwight went too far. I didn't see anybody on barbecue there.
Alright. Cheryl. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say to that. I knew you were in there. And you knew I was in there. And now that we all know who was in there and who wasn't, I believe that might be all she wrote for you as well. And Barbecue tells us that's where our last two are at. Hey, Dwight. Yeah, that is a... Uh, I know Terror Radius thing can be a... Uh, a concern, huh? I had a feeling you were going to go that way. I don't know if there's a pallet here. Oh, there is. All right, we're just going to leave it and go after him. Ah! Yeah, that was pretty much a straight line you were running in. That's kind of what I do when I'm a survivor. Mm. Uh, the question is, is that your death hook? It is. So we know where the last person is at. The question is, are they going to be able to find the hatch? Or we can find them. No hatch will have spawned yet. Okay. Right, Meg. And we get her before she gets the hatch. Very possible. And we will. All right, Meg. Sorry to do that. There are plenty of matches I will let somebody have the hatch at the end, but I don't know if I really want to go looking for it. And to be honest, you guys didn't get a generator done. I feel like I get, I think I deserve a 4K on that one. So we had a, we had a, Nice, solid match. Mistakes we made. We had quite a few instances where we still had some, uh, where we had some uh, missed missed opportunities, some missed attacks, a few swings and misses. It was a little sloppy when we hit the person in the in the garage building and we could not get them to a hook. Uh, no hook outside, and they had not gotten the generator open, so I had to go around and got kind of caught up in the counters and. They jumped off me. That was the Zarina. But we got back to them relatively quickly. And in doing so, we were able to, well, we were able to wipe this team out pretty effectively. The trap slowed them down. I don't know if they weren't doing generators simply because I was applying too much pressure or if they were worried about the traps or what was going on. But overall, that was a, that was a wipeout. Uh, my guess is this, this person right here was playing with perks. They still have that bug in the game where the perks do not show up, unfortunately. But overall, that was a that was a bit of a wipeout. That was a tough match for everybody involved, ex except for me. That went about as well as I could have hoped. And we used those ambush attacks. A couple of the survivors were not necessarily aware sometimes, I think, of, of how close I got to them. I was able to use my stealth to get close and to ambush them multiple times. Uh, and I had a couple people who just weren't tremendously good in some of their chases either as far as evading goes. And that helped me as well. But I'm still pretty pleased with the match. Uh, I would take a match like this every game as the pig. One of the reasons she's a lot of fun to play. So on that note, I want to ask everybody to please, if you enjoyed, hit the like and subscribe button. It would help the channel to grow. We do release new Dead by Daylight videos on a daily basis. Until the next time, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next Dead by Daylight.